what's going on everybody well I'm gonna try a test out because I want to see how well I can harden off plants in the greenhouse I'm gonna see how they do now the sun's starting to come out it's about noon and tomorrow we're supposed to have full sun all day so the first one I'm gonna do one plant from this greenhouse one plant from the greenhouse garden shed and one plant from my garden greenhouse so this little experiment to see how well my plants hardened off inside the greenhouse so I'm going to take some healthy plants and I've marked them that's for the one for today and that's the one I'm going to put out all day tomorrow as you can see they're pretty healthy and we'll see what happens to them so for the first ones I'm going to be putting them a little bit farther away from the greenhouses because I don't want the reflection of the sun off the greenhouse to interfere with it so H1's going out today leave it out here for about five hours for the greenhouse garden shed I'm going to use a couple of my question mark tomatoes. Those are the ones where I lost a tag for them, so I don't know what type of tomato they are. And I have my S1 and S2. For tomorrow, I'm going to use my S2s and bring them out for the full day of sun. So we'll see how well they were hardened in the greenhouse. For my garden greenhouse, I'm going to use these two nice Romas, and they're marked with G1 and G2. Might have to remark them with a darker marker so we can read them. So I'm going to set G1 and G2 right here once again. G1 is going to be out today for about five hours of a little bit overcast, but sunny. Well, it's been five hours. Let's see how it's doing. Here's H1. Looks pretty good. Here's the S1 tomato and the S1 jalapeno pepper. And from the garden greenhouse, here is G1. And it looks like it's doing good. So it looks like they could all take about five hours with the sunlight. We'll see what happens with them tomorrow. See if they droop out or something. Or turn yellow. And I'm going to put out the uh, twos tomorrow. First thing in the morning. They'll get a full day of sunshine. So here's a good look at H2 really close. Here is S2, the pepper, and S2, the question mark tomato. They are both looking really good. And these are both from the greenhouse garden shed. Finally, from the garden greenhouse, I have the G2 tomato. And it's looking like one of the best ones. So we'll check back in tomorrow afternoon, see how they do. See if I got any leaf curl or any uh, yellowing or dead leaves. all right it is day three giving the plants a chance to see what happened to them here's our h1 that we left out for five hours and here's our h2 that we left out for a full day of really bright sun 
and in the back we have one of our plants that did not go out on the test so I'll call that the control plant in the back so with H1 looks really good this was about five hours with mostly sunny skies with H2 we have a little bit of yellowing on the end right here and it looks like a little bit of burn on that end and that was eight full hours of direct sunlight in my newer greenhouse for the greenhouse garden shed we did jalapeno peppers and my question mark tomatoes and we called that S1 for the greenhouse garden shed so for S1 habanero or correction jalapeno looks real good we're going to compare it to the one that had nothing the control I'm going to spin the control around a little bit for the S2 which got the full eight hours of really bright sun looks really good no yellowing for the question mark tomatoes for S1 for the five hours of sun looks pretty good that's compared to the control and for S2 they got the full eight hours I don't see any yellowing that one looks really good also so let's look at G's and the G's came from my garden greenhouse and we look closely we have a little bit of burn down there compare it to the control and for G2 G2 looks really good so a lot of this depends on how clean your windows are in your greenhouse if you remember I pressure washed this one before I put it in always make sure these are cleaned and I make sure these are cleaned all in all it looks like they are hardening pretty good inside the greenhouse although I'm pretty confident on how my greenhouse has hardened off my plants I'm still leaving them out a little bit I marked off the ground for the storage area I have in the back of my truck that way they'll get a little bit more hardened off uh, right before market. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Push the subscribe button. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.